Hey guys, my name is Pixie, and today we're going to take a look at the Gallery Viewer, which is a free component in Appy Builder. My favorite design trend when displaying photographs is showcasing high def images that take up the entire screen, and you overlay everything on top of that image. We're going to do something similar where the Gallery Viewer is on top of the background instead of using the standard carousel design. For this tutorial, I've chosen to use some images from an artist named Jerka Vince. He has a blog and a personal website. He's pretty well known for creating real life versions of popular Disney characters and his work is amazing. Now obviously you can't claim his work as your own, or anyone else's for that matter, but you can play around with any images for personal use. I'm going to save some of these images and use them in Photoshop. I want these images to fill the entire screen, so I'll need to make some changes to these images in order to accomplish that. You might remember me saying in a previous video that the standard size for an Android phone is 1080 by 1920 with a 916 ratio for portrait orientation. I don't want to use large images for Appy Builder because each project I create has a maximum file size and I'm not creating this gallery for a tablet so I don't actually need the larger resolution. Therefore I can safely resize this canvas to 35% of its original size which is now 378 by 672. Notice that the image of Pocahontas doesn't have the same dimensions as the canvas so I'll need to resize this image until it fills the entire screen. Thankfully, these are all high def images, so I won't lose any image quality by changing the original size. This also means that a small portion of the image will never be visible, but that's okay. I can move this image around and show as much or as little of the original image as I'd like. I'll then do the same for the remaining nine images. If you're using images that all have different sizes, then you'll need to work on each image individually to fit inside your canvas. These images are finished, and I could stop right here, but I don't want my thumbnails to be rectangles, so I'm going to need to create separate images for my thumbnails. To do that, I'll need to make a new document that is 200 pixels wide by 200 pixels tall. I'll move all of these images into the document I just created. All of the layers are selected, so I can resize each of these images smaller to make them fit inside the thumbnail view. You'll want to go through each layer, move them around, and make sure they look good. Now I need to save each of these large and small images. I'll name each of the large images as princess underscore name, even though they're not all technically Disney princesses, but that's okay. I'll do the same thing with the thumbnail images, but instead I'll save them as thumb underscore name. So I should have 20 images total, 10 princess images, and 10 thumbnails. We're finished with the pre-design, so it's time to upload our images to Appy Builder and start on the design. I've made a few changes to screen one already. I want this to maintain portrait orientation and I've chosen to hide the status and title bar. Drag a vertical arrangement onto the screen. I'll set the alignments to center bottom, set width and height to fill parent, and place a default image into the arrangement. I'm going to optionally drop a horizontal arrangement at the bottom of the screen for a little more control later on if I want to make some changes. I'll place the gallery viewer inside the horizontal arrangement, keep the height at automatic, and set the width to fill parent and the padding to 10. It's always good practice to name your component, so I'll call the vertical arrangement princess, the horizontal arrangement will be named container, and the gallery viewer will be named gallery. Lastly, I'm going to add an image below the container with a height of 5%, so this will give me a little padding at the bottom of the screen. Alright, the design is finished, we can now move on to the blocks editor. Create a global variable named thumbnail list and an initialize list procedure. We're going to add the name of all 10 thumbnails to this list. Don't forget to include the image extension and double check to make sure you've spelled each image name correctly. We do not need to make a list for the princess images. Next create a procedure named initialize gallery. We can set the gallery images to the thumbnail list. Before we continue, notice that if you mouse over the gallery pick event, the description for this event pops up and reads to do a blah blah blah. You'll also notice that you can get and set more properties here in the block section than are available in the properties window in the design view. So I believe there are still some updates being made to this component. Grab a gallery selection block and set it to the middle index of the thumbnail list. As I was gathering footage for this tutorial video, I wound up not utilizing this block at all, but I decided to keep it in here to play around with later. Create a local variable named thumb size set to 200 to correspond with the size of each thumbnail. Then I can set the thumbnail width and height to the thumb size variable. Call both of these procedures when the screen initializes. Lastly, set the princess image using a replace block. Remember that all of the images follow the same naming convention, so this block will replace the word thumb with the word princess. 
I've included the underscore so that this block doesn't replace any word that might happen to have the same exact words, like Thumbelina, for example. We can now test the app and see what it looks like. The first thing you might notice is that the gallery starts almost in the middle of the screen. You can horizontally scroll through the gallery, and some of the images appear out of the viewing window as you scroll left and right. If you click on any thumbnail image, then the background of the vertical arrangement changes to the thumbnail that you clicked on. And the images look really good. Now, most galleries aren't just images on a screen, right? We need some information about this image. You can see from this example that I've made some changes to the design. The container is sized to 90% of the screen. I've added a copyright label, and I've also included the name of each princess using a segment block. You might like to include a description of each image below the name. You could store image descriptions in a separate list. You might also hate the way this looks entirely and decide to use the classic carousel layout. You could use the same concept from the pre-design to create the carousel. You might even choose not to use an image gallery at all, but instead use little dots, which you see a lot of in Bootstrap. Your dots could appear within your layout arrangement or below it. All right, good job guys, we are done. Check out the Appy Builder community where you can discuss projects you're working on, stay up to date on current topics, and access tutorials created by community members. You can start building your own Android apps for free by visiting appybuilder.com, and you can also sign up for a free 30-day trial of Appy Builder's gold membership. Alrighty guys and gals, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, and have a great day. Bye!